What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm sharing all of my newborn must-haves. So I thought this video would be really fun to make because currently I'm in the newborn phase right now. As I'm filming this, I currently have a four-week-old today. She's four weeks old as I'm filming this. And so I wanted to round up a few things that I'm constantly using and that I think are total must-haves. If you have a newborn or you're currently pregnant and you're thinking about what do newborns need, believe it or not, there aren't a lot of things, but these things are actually really good. And this is also my second baby, so I kind of know from experience uh, what's worth it, what isn't. Everything I'm sharing in this video is going to be what's worth it. So with that being said, subscribe if you're new and let's go ahead and dive right in okay so first category i wanted to tackle is clothing so there are so many cute and adorable outfits out there especially for girls but honestly you guys the best thing to have your newborn wear are honestly just footy pajamas so i have several different ones i want to share with you guys and the places that i like to purchase them because sometimes they can get really pricey and my rule of thumb is if it costs more than ten dollars per footie pajama i'm not purchasing it because to me that's kind of like that's too much <laughs> i don't think it's really necessary to spend more than ten dollars on a tiny little piece of clothing the types i recommend are getting the ones with fold over mittens because you'll notice newborns love to touch their face and even if you keep their nails clipped and looking great they're still going to scratch their face <laughs> somehow it just still happens and having onesies with a fold over mitt is honestly just like a lifesaver it's perfect you just put it on they have this one piece on it's also really easy to change their diaper and i suggest getting ones i like the button ones personally i like the button ones that are on one side if you get the buttons that are like in the crotch area those can be kind of tricky to button because they have to be in a specific spot so if you get buttons i like it when it's on one side and then i also love the zipper kind also these are way easier than even the button ones and this one also has fold over mittens and get the zipper ones that have the zipper go up so that way you don't have to completely open them just to change their diaper places i like to get them this pink one it kind of came in a set i got it from old navy very good quality and she's worn it so many times and i wash it so many times and it's holding up great this one is probably my favorite just because it's like um, a ribbed material it's super soft comfy stretchy and I got this from Amazon also it came in a two pack they're just solid neutral colors they come in a bunch of different colors I think it was a two pack for 18 or 19 dollars so under 10 dollars for one which I think is definitely worth it also if you're looking for very affordable onesies I actually recommend going to Walmart they actually have extremely affordable onesies I was actually able to get a lot of them for four or five or six dollars so if you're looking for a really really good deal I definitely recommend checking out Walmart uh, these also have the fold over mittens as well so those are the places I recommend Amazon Carter's Old Navy Walmart um, I also love H&M but they always sell out so fast so if you're able to see like specific sizes that you need in stock i highly suggest grabbing them because they're affordable and super good quality and super cute and stylish as well and then with clothing i also recommend just basic bodysuits. i love these from h&m pants as well quality is so good and it's really really nice i definitely recommend bodysuits with pants and then also i definitely recommend socks especially if you have them more cute outfits or if you have them wear you know what i just shared just like pants and stuff i honestly just go with something super basic i don't go for any funky colors or anything as you can tell like everything i'm sharing is like in neutral colors uh, and that's just what i like personally um, but for socks i just recommend getting a pack of just basic white ones i just got one pack of 12 and that's 100 percent plenty enough for me also for the onesies i didn't mention uh the amount that i got for the newborn phase is i believe 12 zero to three months and that's more than enough personally for my daughter uh, to have so that just in case you guys are curious how much should i stock up on stock up on i personally got 12 and it's plenty next thing is mittens so if you have your baby wear something you know that doesn't have the fold over mittens like the footie pajamas getting a separate pack of mitts is definitely really nice so these ones are huge so i got these i didn't think they were going to be this large i put them on my daughter and she looks like she has like like boxing gloves on which looks cute but funny at the same time but these hold on so much better than like these really small thin ones like 
they just don't hold on very well. They're nice to have, but they don't hold on very well. Um, so that's why I recommend these. They're just pretty large, so it kind of looks funny, but you know, she'll get a little bit bigger and it'll be a little bit easier for her to wear. These I got from Amazon. They came in a three pack with different colors. They also came with matching hats, which I'll share, which are these right here, which is so cute. So if you have a girl, these are super nice because it has like a little bow on it. They're super soft and really, really good quality, affordable as well. And it comes with a matching hat and mitts okay and believe it or not you guys that's everything i recommend for clothing honestly like it's so simple and so basic you really don't need a lot i just honestly recommend stocking up on footy pajamas with the fold over mitts it's going to be like your favorite outfit for your baby to wear and you can get lots of cute ones as well the next thing i wanted to tackle are gadgets so there isn't like a whole bunch I recommend just pretty much a handful of things that I completely think are worth it so first thing I wanted to mention is this boppy lounge pillow so my son used this and then Emma uh, my daughter she's using this now and I love it so much Nathan loved like sleeping on this lounging in this just laying and chilling in here same thing with Emma and I really like it there's a lot of lounge pillows for babies that are so expensive like the docker tot it's like almost $200 which in my opinion you guys if you have it that's that's okay but I personally don't think it's worth it because there's lots of alternatives that are much more affordable and it does the same thing okay next thing is totally optional so it's a baby swing I personally really love it because if there are times where I need my hands free um, I can just put the baby on the swing for a little bit and you know I can just go get something done real quick which is super nice one that I recommend I think I've recommended in a multiple videos but i love personally the mamaru um i know it's a very bougie and trendy baby product it's definitely expensive i you know only recommend it if you have the budget for it and if you think you, you know your baby will like it luckily both of my kids like it my daughter actually loves it even more than my son my first baby did and i am getting really really good use out of it she's actually in it right now she's taking a nap as i'm filming a video here for you guys so it's nice because i have my hands free she can hang out there for a little bit even when she's awake has awake time she can lay there look around personally really like it there's so many other types of swings out there that are you know also way more affordable than that one and I definitely recommend checking those out too. explore your options personally I love this one I've been getting really good use out of it yes it's expensive but it's going strong for my second baby and to me it's worth it plus the resale value is really good once you're done using it okay next a recommendation for the newborn face this is the most expensive one um, but it is a stroller and I think I've recommended this in another video but totally 100 100 recommend the Apple baby stroller i know there's so many ones out there personally from me testing out different all the different kinds i love the Apple baby one if you're still unsure of which one to get i highly recommend going to bye bye baby they have a huge section of strollers where you can actually test it out they're all set up there you can ride around in, in the store and see what you think of it um, that's what my husband and i did and that's how we settled on the Apple baby we went with the cruise version 100 percent worth it it's expensive but it is so worth it if you are going to splurge on one baby product i 100 recommend it being a stroller because it's the thing you're going to use so much and you want it to be good quality you want it to be sturdy and the really nice thing about it is you know you can do different attachments to it so if you want to get a bassinet you can add a bassinet to it the stroller piece or the infant car seat so that way you don't have to take them in and out of it if they're napping or during car rides and you want to switch them to a stroller so that's the really convenient thing about it and i love the cruise because it's a smaller um stroller so it's not heavy it's not super bulky they have the vista which the difference between that and the cruise if you're curious is the vista you can make it into a double stroller the cruise you can't i personally didn't care about having the double stroller i totally recommend it i'm blabbering on and on about it but if you're curious about it check it out i'll leave the link in the description box down below if you want to look at it but i totally recommend it okay next thing that i get so much use out of for my newborn is a bassinet i mean i feel like a lot of people recommend this and there are so many different kinds out there the one that i have is by up a baby which i can link it down below they have a newer version than the one that i currently own uh, because the one that i own which i'll show in the clips here uh, i got it actually as a hand-me-down which was super duper sweet uh, my son used 
used it my first baby and it's going strong for my second one and it was a hand-me-down too so really nice very good quality and sturdy and I feel like most of you mamas know that having a bassinet is definitely really really nice for those first few months when they're sleeping with you in the bedroom before they start transitioning into their crib so that's the one that I have there's so many different other options out there which I'll link the one that I have and I'll also link some other options for you guys to check out that I heard are really good have really good reviews and I have friends that have these that rave about them too so I'll link several different ones for you to check out and make the best decision for your family okay and then for bath time uh just really a few things they need so I have a infant tub uh, that I put into my bathtub and I like this one because I don't have to fill up the whole tub of water um, It's just this infant tub. I fill it a little bit with warm water and then I wash them uh, I really like it definitely a good purchase for us I know there's so many other kinds out there But I personally like this one because you don't have to fill up your entire tub <laughs> Just to wash a tiny little person and this one is just super basic super simple It's white nothing fancy schmancy doesn't have the gadgets where it weighs them and this and that like I personally don't care about that honestly um so we just went with this basic one which I'll link for you guys really like it works well it's a bathtub and then I also really like hooded bath towels as well I'll link my favorites down below and then washcloths are also really nice as well you don't even have to buy specific baby ones this was gifted you don't have to buy specific baby ones but you can even just use whatever you have in your house but um, if you're having a baby shower, it's very likely you're going to get washcloths gifted to you. Then shampoo and wash for them. I love this one by Burt's Bees. Uh, this one has a lavender scent to it. I really like it. And I also really like the Honest brand too. All right, so we made it to the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing, hearing my top recommendations for newborns. Uh, like I mentioned, there's just a few things, but that's what I think is amazing about it. You actually don't really need a lot. Just a few really, really good things. Um, everything that I mentioned will be linked down below if you guys happen to be interested in anything. Also, if you're new, subscribe for more weekly videos. I do mostly videos on style and fashion. And then once or twice a month, I do topics on baby things like this, which I love doing. So again, subscribe if you're new and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.